PNI Escort HP7120 Compact CB Radio and PNI Extra 48 Compact Antenna. Unboxing and First Look by Paul Mike Zero Whiskey November Uniform or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul Mike Zero Whiskey November Uniform or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. So, I've had a package delivered. And that one's come from Red Ruth in Cornwall. What's in it? A radio. What radio? Well, I'll show you. Once I get into this box, which should be nice and COVID-19 free, and I'm not going to touch my face anyway, and I'm going to sanitize my hands regardless, and all that stuff that you've got to do. So I'll just put all the tape. I've got a knife here. You can't see, see it because it's not on camera at the minute. So, what radio did I buy? You've probably seen me mention it in Twitter that I bought a radio. Another radio. But which one? And... We, we, oh, there we go. I'm into the box. It's a bit bigger than what's actually in the box. So, I'm going to just get rid of that knife for the minute. It's well wrapped up. <laughs> it's not actually... Uh, not actually that light in its packaging, but it's all wrapped up in a bubble wrap, coronavirus free bubble wrap, hopefully. And here we go. This is what I have bought. This is a PNI Escort HP7120 and a PNI Extra 48 antenna. And the antenna is very small for what it's supposed to be for. So, what do we get in this pack then? So I've got the CB and a microphone. The microphone is detachable. Um, the antenna, the usual clips and brackets, the power lead. I'll show you all of this when I get it out of the box. Because it's in one of these um, uh, one of these um, uh, bubble pack type things. All the it's, Most of what's written on the box is in Romanian. But that's to be expected because the, the uh, p and is a Romanian company. Uh, fortunately, if the instructions are only in Romanian, then it's not a problem because uh, one of my colleagues at work just so happens to be Romanian and might be able to translate for me. So let's get into this thing. So I'm going to use the knife again. I'm just trying to cut my fingers off. Because it's that horrid plastic. There we go. Oops. And also... It's one of those boxes where they actually crimp it round the edges, so you have to cut it with a press. This is something ridiculous. And that's just annoying. So, just cutting into the box. I'm not showing. I'm not showing me do that on camera because you know that's just going to be a wee bit embarrassing in case I, in case I draw blood, and you know I don't want to draw blood on, on YouTube. And it should be in. Get rid of that. I'm hoping I'm in. See if I'm into this Romanian and Chinese magnificence. The radio is made in China by a company called Nanfon. And uh, what? There's, they make quite a few radios that are on the market at the moment, including the Thunderpole T3000. That's a Nanfon CB689 with a different badge and slightly different firmware in it. So I'm in. So we have also in here an instruction book, and the first page is actually in English. So I've got an instruction book, tells you how to do what you need to do with it. So I'll put that to one side. We've got it's a brochure containing things that they sell. Like, yeah. what do they sell? Security cameras, car head units, uh, radios that look suspiciously like Baofeng treble eights, uh, alarm systems, else do I have in here? Ooh. So what else do they have? CB radios, so they have, let's see, Escort HP8500, which is a car stereo CB hybrid. It's the it's an Amphon one, which I've not seen for sale anywhere. <laughs> not even through PNI Zimmer website resellers, the various PNI Escorts, H1000L, H1001L, and h 1020 HPH 8024. Yeah. And. Okay. Yeah, so it's the HP 8000L, 8024, 8001. They, they've all been 
they've all featured on uh, UKCB radio servicing. Um, so, and also the various antennas that they sell as well, including the predecessor to the, to the extra 48, which is the extra 45. And it says um, uh, any range is an approximation. So, the yeah. image. Just trying to read off of that. Uh, it comes with what we got here. I'm guessing this is warranty certificates. So I'm not interested in the warranty certificate. I'm interested in the goodies inside here. So we've ooh, very light microphone as it turns out. So get this radio out. And so uh, and that is the radio. A tiny little thing. Uh, there's a warranty sticker over one of the screws, so I can't take the take the lid off and show you what's actually inside one of these. Um, there's probably videos on the internet on what's actually in there. Now it comes with a quick release mount, so I'm going to take that off because I need access to the power cable, which is tucked underneath. And uh, it's not a fixed power cable, it's an unpluggable one. So, that's the bracket. This is the microphone with the um, channel change up down buttons on it. Quite a light microphone, and quite a small one. I don't like it very much, but eh, it's got a six pin modular connector on it. Uh, that's different, so you can actually plug that in and unplug it. That's the power cable that comes with it. It looks quite similar to the one on the Thunderpole T3000 actually. Although this has got an inline fuse on it, on the on the on the cable which is interesting the normally you'd find the fuse in the plug but in this case it's in line on the cord so and what else we got usual bag of bits which is like the screws for an eye clip I'm not going to need those right now and finally the bit that's interesting me the most about this kit this antenna although the bottom seems to have come off slightly yeah Supposed to be magnetic, I'm hoping it is. I can test that right now. Yeah, it sticks to my desk, so that is magnetic. Uh, uh, thin coax, not, not my favourite, but you know. Uh, soldered on, by, soldered and crimped actually, by the looks of it. PL259. Look, so you can put that on the roof of your car, it should blend in. I'll show you that um, uh, later in the video. Um, what else we got in this box? We should have a mask for that. And we do. So that's the antenna mast. It looks much like your standard car antenna. Uh, it looks like it's also base loaded as well. You can just see all the loading inside it. I'm not sure this top comes off. No, it doesn't have glued that down. So I think once this is on the roof, you've just got to hope that it works. It's one of them kinds, I think. But you still have to still check at the NSWR meter, that's very important. And they've even kindly supplied one spare fuse. But that's okay, because I don't think I'm going to be blowing the fuse anytime soon, so I'll get rid of that. Right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set up the second camera, and uh, we'll, we'll sort of switch this thing on and see what it does. Um, so, I will return with that once I've set the camera up and set up the radio and plugged it in. And it'll also give me a chance to have a quick peek at the instructions. So, I shall be back with that soon. And just checking I've got anything there actually. Yeah, so I'll just return with that very shortly. And we'll sort of see what we've got. Okay, I'm on the second camera. So, we've got the radio set up, there's a power SWR meter on top of it, but that's not going to be brilliantly accurate. So, first thing we want to do is turn the radio on with the big control here. And from the factory, it starts up in CE mode. There's no, F, there's no AM, FM option on that, I don't think. Nope, pressing and holding that puts it into scan. That's set for Ramon, Romania. You can legally use it like that in the UK but it wouldn't give you access to the UK channels. So pressing and holding that gives you the scan feature. We'll go through the squelchy RF gain and the other buttons 
when we've finished here. So to put it into UK mode, turn the radio off. Press and hold the AF button, turn the radio back on. And then using the up and down keys, I think it works from the microphone. Yes, it does. Select the mode you would like. In this case, the UK, then turn the radio off. And turn the radio back on again. It is now in UK mode. And when you press AF this time, it puts it into CE mode for the FM CE channels. And then back to UK for the FM UK channels. So at the moment we're on we're on channel nine, but I've just changed it to change it to the centre of the UK band, which is channel 20. So it's all connected to dummy load and everything, so should should transmit should work okay now that's telling me it's doing just slightly under four watts which can which tells me now that it's not actually doing anywhere near that it's probably doing about two two but i don't have a calibrated test set so see what it sounds like i'll just turn my intech h520 plus back on which is on channel 19, there's no help. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Sounds all right. What's it sound like on receive? It'll be a little muffled because the speaker's on the underneath. One, two, one, two. Okay, so, it's got a couple of controls on it. It's got an RF gain control, though what purpose that would serve, I'll never know on a little set like this. So that's the setting of the RF gain. Um, so it goes up in steps. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, then back to six. So I'm guessing that with that switched in, that's going to be, that's going to be attenuated. I think on some of these sets it is. That's actually sounding a bit stronger, that. If I turn that off. Yeah, I can hear the buzz there, but I didn't on the, with the RF gain switched in, which is interesting. I'll play more with that later. You've got your emergency switch, channel 9, channel 19, and then back to the channel you were on. Squelch. I think that's an auto. Yeah, that's auto squel that's the auto squelch, which is set to five. I'm thinking that's a preset. That's off. That's the that's the squelch as it is now, so turn that down with the microphone. That turns it off. Turn it to north, that's off. Point one's its lowest. It's a bit of a pain to fiddle with in the car. So we'll put it at one point one. Got auto squelch in there. Press and hold, auto squelch on, press and hold, turn it back off again. So that's your levels, put it back to where it was, which is A5. I'm not sure if these buttons do anything when you press and hold them. Uh, RFG doesn't do anything when you press and hold it. Just seeing what else we got. LC, not sure what that is. Oh, 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 I'm not sure what that one is, so I'll have to look that one in. Look that one up. But that's your channel change and it's your volume control. Very little on that. So I'll find out what that LC one was when you press and hold the EMG. So that's really it. There's nothing much more I can say on the radio. It's it's doing close to the stated power. But I don't think that meter's terribly accurate. So I'd have to put it onto a proper test test set to find out. So I'll put it onto CE20 and see where we are with that as well. Now it says it's actually doing spot on for what's there. But that's bearing my ass into a dummy load and sort of like. So, without, it's probably doing less than what that meter's saying because that meter isn't 100% in calibration, I wouldn't think. But it is going into a dummy load, which I can show you. There we go. 
that's into a dummy load. So that radio works. And the next part of the video, we'll be testing that, that antenna out and also testing the audio against... Just taking where the camera isn't recording. Testing the audio against the um, uh, Thunderpole T3000 because they're both made by Nanfon. Although having said that, with this microphone, I'll just bring it in, I'm not 100% sure if it, whether it'd be better or worse audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in the car and see what's what. Um, that probably won't be now, but I probably will put it in the car. Um, because I've been asked to go into work a bit earlier today. Um, so by the time this video goes live, it will be the Wednesday. So, uh, so far I'm quite impressed with this. And it's about £50, 56 uh, the 56 was um, uh, where I was um, uh, getting it off eBay from eBay seller No Can Do or No Can Do Zero One, I think it was. Uh, so I have a look on there, it's about 56 quid. That's six six pounds, would six or so pounds just covers the postage. So I'll catch you when I go out to the car with this. Right, yo, I'm down in the car. What I've done is I've connected my car's antenna, which I know to be tuned and a low SWR on on um, uh, the channel I want to use. Uh, and uh, I've put the, the the radio, the PNI, onto channel 20. And I've got in the house my SDR recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an audio check because this radio and the Thunderpole T3000 are both... They're both Nanfon chassis, and uh, although the T3000 is a much better radio in the grand scheme of things, because it can actually do AM in the UK mode, where this can't, unfortunately, but that's not a problem. Um, it doesn't come with as good a microphone as the T3000 either, so, it, so let's run this audio test, and we are connected, and let's see. 26 Charlie Tango 730 doing an audio test on the PNI compact CB radio. Ooh. I'll do another one for good luck. 26 Charlie Tango 730 doing an audio test on the PNI compact CB radio. This is model HP 7120. 12345-54321. Right, so what I'm next going to do is I'm going to plug the antenna back into the T3000. So let's see how that fares against this. Okay, so next one is the Thunderpole T3000 with its much more substantial microphone, as you can see here. So, let's see how this fares against the PNI. And we're on Channel 20 UK again. 26 Charlie Tango 730 testing Audio from Thunderpole T3000 against PNI HP 7120. 12345-54321. And I'll do that one more time. 26 Charlie Tango 730 testing audio against PNI HP 7120. This is the audio from the Thunderpole T3000. 12345-54321. Okay, I'd say that was that would be done now. So next is the antenna that comes with the kit. Charlie Tango 730 doing an audio test on the PNI Compact CB radio. Physics Charlie Tango 730 doing an audio test on the PNI Compact CB radio. This is model HP 7120. 12345-54321. Charlie Tango 730 testing audio from Thunderpole T3000 against PNI HP 7120 12345 Okay, PNI radio is now on the SWR meter and on the antenna that came with it, rather than on the car's main antenna. We're on CE channel 1, which is FM, 
Um, so let's see what happens now. I need to put the meter into SWR mode, otherwise I'm not going to get a proper reading. So let's see. We need to calibrate it first. So we're in forward. I'll move that to that. And let's see what happens, reflected power. Hmm. It's in the middle of the roof and I'm getting two I'm getting two to one there on the supplied antenna in the middle of my car's roof. And I've took both my antennas off. So let's try CE channel 40. Actually, first of all, let's try the middle of the band. CE channel 20. So forward again. Reflected. The needle's not moving. Right, channel 40. Forward again. And uh, reflected. Now I'm getting an SWR just under 1.5 there. On CE channel 40 now, the big question is, will this antenna work on the UK mode? And or will, will I have to revisit this? So, channel 1 UK, which is about dead centre. Some people walking past, I'll just let them go per first before I transmit, because I don't really want to transmit while they're that in the near field. Okay. So, forward. Just adjust that slightly. It's not... Okay. Reflected. Big moment. Okay, I'll do that again as someone just walked past. Uh, between, between, oh, between two and three. Ooh, this ain't going to bode well, is it? So I did say, did say it would work. 20, I think from twenty-six to thirty megahertz. Um, this doesn't look like 26 to 30 megahertz to me, so go to UK channel 20, where I was. It's going to pick up on my SDR, but that's okay. Right. Middle channel again, UK 20. Okay, double check, that's the UK 20. Yeah, yeah UK 20. So forward, SWR mode, key up. Just the stop. And reflected. Ah, yeah, that isn't really usable there. So let's go UK 40. Forward again. Reflected. Yeah, no chance. Yeah, that antenna works, but uh, it only seems to be better... All right, on the... You, it's in the middle of the roof of my car, but it uh, only seems to be fine on CE band. But because I've still got the mag mounts up on the roof, they could be causing a problem. I don't know. Um, so let's turn the radio off. So now we're done with that. And I will return back to the radio room once I've put my, um, uh, once I've put my diamond and my um, uh, Sirio back on the roof of my car. Ah, um, yeah, I've just noticed something there that might mean it might take a bit longer for me to edit this video. Um, the local electricity distribution network operators, as workers have just gone past, and my feelings about them, yeah, you've probably seen my Twitter. Right, so, now back to the radio room I go, once I put those antennas back on. Right, you join me back in the radio room uh, the following day, um, from when I filmed the first part. Because obviously yesterday I had to go out to work in a bit of a rush, so couldn't do anything about that. So, the radio. Let's bring it in. Um, see, I've just got it over on the desk here, tangled up with everything, which is a bit annoying. Let's put that down on the floor. So, the radio. Nice little dinky thing. Can't fault it. Seems to perform alright. Um, haven't obviously tested it properly. Because I can't do that because we're still under lockdown. 
I'm not really keen on this microphone, it's a bit small and light for my liking. Um, unfortunately, because it uses a modular plug that might be difficult to put a different microphone on it. But I like the quick release bracket and I like the fact that it's a very small radio and perfect for modern day cars. So, mm, I don't think there's anything inside that can be adjusted, although I know there is a high power modification for radios based on similar, if not the same, chassis as this. So, it's good. Because it comes with a cigarette lighter plug and other necessary parts to get you started. That actually makes it a good all rounder as well. So, just plug that straight into your cigarette lighter in your car. Put an antenna on the roof, make sure that's all tuned, and we're good. Now the antenna. Now here is the antenna in question. That's the fully assembled antenna. It's not very big. However, here's what I managed to get when I put this in the centre of the roof on my car, as you would have seen in the earlier part of the video. Uh, SWR was around about two, uh, the bottom of the European frequencies. Uh, it seemed to level off around about the middle, about channel 20 on the European frequencies, and then start going up again around after that. Uh, the UK frequencies, well, on my car it was unusable, despite the fact this thing has a frequency range uh, about 26 to 30 megahertz, I think it was quoted. Check on the packet. Uh, yeah, 26 to 28 megahertz, so that should have technically worked. Should have, but apparently it didn't. So according to the manufacturer, it should have worked 26 to 28 megahertz. It didn't, and you know, it's it, on my car. Well, it didn't on my car. So this one's worth a revisit, I think. This antenna, and I might have a look at looking at some of the other little discrete antennas you can get for the Citizens Band. I know there's a Midland one that's apparently all right. Intech did one that was that was small as well, but I've heard that wasn't actually that good. But I know there's a Midland one as well that's supposed, supposed to be small and compact and ideal if you don't want to drive around with um, a massive antenna on the roof of your car making it look like a Dodgem or something, which mine does because it's got that it's got that, that Sirio on the back. So, when I did, did yeah, so, it, because uh, both the Thunderpole T3000 and this came out of Nanphone factories, so it was worth putting the two against each other. They've got different microphones, um, though, the Thunderpole T3000 and uh, the PNI variant of that, actually, as well, because PNI do do a version of that, actually have a more substantial microphone. Um, so, there is that. So, would I recommend this radio? Uh, for 50 quid plus that antenna, well, you get the radio and an antenna, so you might have more luck than, than me, but I am going to revisit that antenna and see see how it actually fares. And once the lockdown's over, I'm going to give this thing a proper air test, find out what's what with it and what's not what with it. So, um, the, the, the high power modification on these, uh, A, you do that at your own risk, and B, to be honest, that will put more stress on this radio than it actually needs, so um, so I wouldn't do that. Now, I bought this off the back of seeing it on Simon the Wizard's channel, um, and I thought, yeah, that's worth a look at. So here we are. I have one. And the positives of it, quick release bracket, and its small size makes it, comp makes it perfect for any car that's modern and has very little in the way of space. Uh, drawbacks, um, I don't like this microphone too much and uh, the supplied antenna didn't work on my car but it might work on yours. So, and uh, obviously I can't look inside there to show you the circuit board because there's a warranty sticker over the, one of the screws, although I do have a screwdriver that will get them out. So uh, I'll have to wait till the warranty runs out before I start having a look inside there, which is probably when it'll stop working anyway. Although, having said that, I've still got some older sets that still work. So, I also compared this to the size of uh, my Capo EA35 linear amplifier. I'm going to put a photograph from, uh, of that into the video as well. And uh, the linear seemed to be a bit bigger. Obviously, 
Um, I don't use that linear on Citizens Band, absolutely not. I stay legal with it before what? I'm not part of the Burnley Brigade. I've only got that thing for 10 metres if I want to use it there. But I haven't modified any of my CBs to operate on 10 metres because I'd rather keep them on 11 metres. Because I do like to play with CB now and again. So, I like this radio. That's all I'm going to say. CBs have come a long way since the 70s and 80s. This is what we get these days. Here we are in 2020 and you can buy a little CB like this with that antenna for about about 50 quid. Um, obviously, like I say, I've not had much luck with the antenna, but hey, other people might have had more luck with it. But it might just be that it's tuned actually for the CEPT band. Yeah, the only other drawback of this radio is that when it's in UK mode, you can't do AM in UK mode on the CEPT. Which you can do on the Thunderbolt E3000, despite the fact they're kind of from the same factory. So, and uh, there was the LO that I came up against earlier in the video. Uh, I think that's actually the keypad lock. So, that should be that. So, I think I'll end the video there and I will catch you on the, on the next one. So, this is Paul Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730, if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. With the PNI Escort HP7120. And you get very similar radios like this. If you just look, look on the internet. But I think by far this one might, might be the cheapest. So, 7.3s for now guys. And don't forget to stay safe. And uh, watch out for the virus. Uh, you know the drill. And look after each other. And enjoy your radio. 7.3s for now guys. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of new videos as I upload them. 73 is from Paul, Mike, Zero, Whiskey, November, Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango, 730 on 11 meters and PMR 446.